10 Most Mysterious Ocean Facts You've probably heard that the majority of our planet's surface is covered by oceans, yet the oceans largely remain a mystery for scientists. Yes, as deep as our planet's oceans are in terms of sheer liquid, they're deeper still when it comes to mystery and fascination. A fun fact is that more is known about the moon's surface than the depths of the ocean or that scientists have more detailed, more extensive maps of Mars than of our own oceans. Today, we share 10 most mysterious ocean facts. These little-known facts about the ocean are sure to blow you out of the water. Number 10. Brinnacle You're probably not ever going to go diving in the waters off Antarctica or in the Arctic near the North Pole, but if you ever do, there's a chance that you may come upon one of the more bizarre sights in nature, a brinnacle. This is a hollow tube that projects downward from the ice pack on the ocean's surface. Imagine an icicle hanging on your house's roof gutter, except that a brinnacle's length may be measured in feet instead of inches. And instead of rainwater, it's formed from a super salty seawater solution called brine. A brinnacle is a surreal, creepy sight. So creepy, in fact, that a British tabloid once described it as the underwater icicle of havoc and warned that it perishes everything in its path. And while that might be a little hyperbolic, brinnacles can indeed be lethal to some sea creatures who wander into pools of super cold brine that form beneath them on the ocean floor. Fortunately, they're only a threat to smaller creatures such as sea stars and not to bigger animals like seals, whales, or humans who happen to go diving at the frigid poles, according to Thurber. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Pyrozone Pyro means fire in Greek, and zoma means body, and they emit light. Furthermore, as a group, they are considered to be the Borg of the sea. Pyrosomes are actually colonies composed of hundreds and sometimes thousands of individuals known as zooids. The individuals work in unison to propel the colony through the water. Unlike members of the Borg, which are mentally connected, pyrosome members are physically connected actually sharing tissues. The whole colony is shaped like a giant thimble with a point on one end and an opening on the other. And in some species, this opening can be up to six feet wide, large enough to fit a full-grown human inside. They can grow to be up to 60 feet long, imitating a living windsock. Because the individual tunicates can reproduce via cloning, the colony can regenerate injured parts or continue growing after being broken apart. A colony can theoretically live forever, shrinking and growing based on available food and physical disturbance. As if this doesn't sound crazy enough, individual clones are hermaphroditic. They make both eggs and sperm. Number 8. Rogue Waves Rogue, freak, or deadly waves have been part of marine folklore for centuries, but have only been accepted as real by scientists over the past few decades. They are unusually large, unexpected, and suddenly appear in directions other than prevailing wind and waves that can be extremely dangerous, even to large ships such as ocean liners. Most reports of extreme storm waves say they look like walls of water. They are often steep-sided with unusually deep troughs. Since these waves are uncommon, measurements and analysis of this phenomenon is extremely rare. Exactly how and when rogue waves form is still under investigation, but there are several known causes. Extreme waves form because swells, while traveling across the ocean, do so at different speeds and directions. Also, another reason could be they are formed by a storm developing in a water current against the normal wave direction. An interaction can take place which results in a shortening of the wave frequency. As complicated as all that sounds, these waves are extremely dangerous and can happen at any time without prior warning, so it should be noted that one takes caution while exploring the oceans. Number 7. Red Tide Red tide is a phenomenon caused by algal blooms according to Wikipedia. 
The name, Red Tide, was derived from the fact that these algae become so numerous that they discolor coastal waters. Despite the weird red hue that seems to give the ocean a different tint, these plant organisms can be quite lethal. The algal bloom may deplete oxygen in the waters and or release toxins that may cause illness in humans and other animals. This is why there's always a decline of marine life in areas where they thrive. Major factors influencing red tide events include warm ocean surface temperatures, low salinity, high nutrient content, calm seas, and rain followed by sunny days during the summer months. In addition, algae related to red tide can be spread or be carried long distances by winds, currents, storms, or ships. Number 6. Mariana Trench In the Mariana Trench, 35,802 feet below the surface, which includes the deepest point on the planet, the water pressure is 8 tons per square inch. If you made your way down there, it'd feel like you were holding up nearly 50 jumbo jets. Pressure would crush you like an ant. In human history, one dozen people have set foot on the moon, but just three people have managed to make it to the Mariana Trench because of the extreme conditions there. Given $1 million, would you consider exploring these deep waters? This is an interesting bonus fact. Did you know there's enough gold in the ocean for us to each have 9 pounds of it? It's true, there's around 20 million tons of gold dispersed throughout the oceans. It is, however, diluted pretty much to a pulp. Its concentration is only a few parts per trillion, according to the National Ocean Service. The ocean floor also has undissolved gold embedded in it, but it's not cost-effective to mine it. However, if the ocean's gold were equally distributed among every person on Earth, we'd each receive 9 pounds of gold. Who's ready to go diving for a gold hunt? Number 5. Milky Sea Phenomenon Also called Muriel at Vadhu Island, Maldives, the Milky Sea is caused by bioluminescent bacteria, billions of trillions of them that live throughout the water column from the surface to the sea floor. For over 400 years, sailors told tales of a mysterious event that takes place far out in the Indian Ocean. They would come across miles and miles of milky glowing waters, sometimes stretching as far as the eye could see. The shot of a ship drifting through opaque glowing water, indistinguishable from fog or mist, has been used many times on screen to indicate lurking terror or an abandoned ship. But the Milky Sea is not just a film phenomenon. It was believed that sea monsters and mermaids lurked in the Milky Sea. The truth is, this isn't the same kind of bacteria that you might see in waves that use their bright light to ward off predators. They actually use light to attract fish, since its favorite place to live is inside a fish's gut. Scientists' guess is that since they only emit a very faint light on their own, they have to gather together to make an impact. Their collective glow can grow to massive, milky sea proportions when their numbers swell to a huge amount. Think 40 billion trillion. Number 4. Unexplained Sounds Let's just clear this out. The deep waters have recorded some pretty weird sounds that seem creepy and unreal. The three famous sounds recorded to date are the Upsweep, Bloop, and Julia. Wait, did the waters literally call it the name Julia? As exciting as we'd like to make this video, the answer is no. The weird noise known as Julia sounds almost like someone whining or maybe even singing underwater. The Eastern Equatorial Pacific Autonomous Array picked up this strange sound that lasted 15 seconds in 1999. In 1997, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, hydrophones 3,000 miles apart picked up one of the loudest sounds ever recorded off the southern coast of South America, the bloop, which sounds exactly like its name, a bloop. The bloop mimics marine animal sounds in some ways, but if it were some kind of creature, it would have to be almost the size of the Eiffel Tower for that sound to be heard from 3,000 miles away. So what made the sound? It's anyone's guess, but deep sea monsters aside, NOAA holds the most likely explanation for the bloop is that it was the sound of a large iceberg fracturing. Sure. Upsweet is an unidentified sound detected on the American NOAA's Equatorial Autonomous Hydrophone Arrays. 
As much as science has tried to explain their origins, something still sounds fishy, pun intended. Number three, there's an internet connection in the ocean. People like to think that data is in the cloud, but it's not, it's in the ocean. For the past few decades, according to the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, submarine cables buried deep within the oceans have carried more than 97% of the intercontinental data traffic, meaning that overseas communication is made possible by ocean-based cables. Wait, what? In recent years, data has traveled through fiber optic cables. That's your internet telephone conversation, your instant messages, your email and your website visits, all making their way beneath the world's oceans. A year of planning goes into charting a cable route that avoids underwater hazards, but the cables still have to withstand heavy currents, rock slides, earthquakes, and interference from fishing trawlers. Each cable is expected to last up to 25 years. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. Underwater Fall Illusion The photo looks like a waterfall within the ocean. This picture was taken in the Mauritius Island just off the coast of Le Morne, on the island's southwest. Mauritius is an island nation in the Indian Ocean, voted as one of the most beautiful places on Earth. The phenomenon in the picture is called the underwater waterfall illusion, which is spectacular. Sand and silt on the ocean floor run off in a way that makes it look like they're pouring down a waterfall, or like the entire island is being sucked down a vast drain. It's really just the flow of underwater currents that create a dramatic image. The ocean water is spectacular from the shore, but to see this particular view requires a helicopter ride. Tours are set up just for that. Number 1. Waterfalls, Rivers, and Lakes Away from a waterfall illusion, did you know there are actually real underwater waterfalls? Seven waterfalls have been discovered deep underwater. The tallest waterfall on Earth is not Angel Falls, but an underwater waterfall called Denmark Strait Cataract located in the Atlantic Ocean between Greenland and Iceland. It is the world's highest underwater waterfall, with water falling almost 11,500 feet and carries 175 million cubic feet of water per second. And it's not just waterfalls that are under the ocean, there are lakes and huge secret rivers complete with rapids and islands that flow down the seashells out into the desert plains, creating riverbanks and floodplains. The river Chinota Angelita under the Sea of Mexico is just one example. As seawater makes its way through layers of salt, it forms little depressions on the ocean floor. Because the water around these depressions contain more salt than normal seawater, it's denser and sinks into the depressions, creating little briny pools. These are a lot like the lakes we know in that they have a shoreline and some of them even have waves.